commonly held misconception that the Earth is a spherical object that revolves around the Sun. But the fact is, of course, that the Earth is a circular dish surrounded by a barrier of ice that explorers have been attempting to penetrate for centuries. 2,000 years ago, an Egyptian scholar by the name of Eratosthenes performed an experiment that he claimed proved the Earth to be a sphere. However, there are serious doubts about the accuracy of his data and his scientific procedures. Dr. Leo Ferrari explains. Oh, the Eratosthenes experiment is an experiment uh, supposedly conducted in the first century, whereby this uh, ingenious person was supposed to have proved, I say that in quotes, that the Earth was a sphere of some 4,000 miles radius. The Eratosthenes one day noticed that the sun was directly overhead in Syene, uh, whereas he noticed that on the same day, at the same time, the sun made an angle 7.2 degrees to the vertical at Alexandria, which was about some 530 miles away. How did Eratosthenes in the first century say, know what the sun was doing on the same day in two places which are 530 miles apart? One can take all those same data, knowing that the Earth is flat. In one place, you have the sun directly overhead. And at another place, at the same time, 530 miles away, let us suppose that it does make an angle of 7.2 degrees to the vertical. Then we have a right angle triangle, which it can be easily shown that the sun is a sum of 4,000 miles up in the sky. These uh, superficial, even, uh, considerations show that it's impossible, the whole thing. It's a story, a fairy story made up and mindlessly repeated in textbooks. Fortunately, not all scientific arguments are based on such questionable research. The Greek astronomer Ptolemy determined to everyone's satisfaction that the Earth is flat, circular, and the central body in the universe. His theory went unchallenged for 1,200 years. Not surprising, really. One need only look around. However, the notion that it was a mother shape gained some acceptance during the Renaissance. These were impoverished times. Most writers, artists, and scientists could not support themselves through their work. They depended on the patronage of the upper class. Consequently, creative and original thinking men let their imaginations run rampant in order to attract support. In 1543, the Polish astronomer Copernicus suggested the bizarre notion that the Earth is a round ball that circles the sun. But his book emphasized it was only a hypothesis. He further avoided controversy by withholding the book for 13 years, and then by dying on the day it was published. So Copernicus' notion that the Earth was a ball you couldn't fall off of was readily embraced by businessmen. And when Magellan's crew claimed to have circumnavigated the globe in 1522, it was seen as a new piece in scientific puzzle. But more importantly, it was seen as a strong psychological boost for free enterprise. It's also been seen as a huge publicity stunt.